Representative Hurtas, thank you for joining us. Good morning. Can you begin by telling us who you are and what you've done professionally in the past? Well, I'm uh, State Representative Jerry Hurtas, and uh, professionally in the past, uh, I've had a rather broad and uh, diverse career uh, over the last 35 years, I guess. But uh, principally, I've been a custom home builder and a real estate developer. I have a real estate brokerage uh, in the small city of Loretto. Um, prior to that, we also had a nursery and landscaping company. And uh, when I was a young person out of college, I started out uh, pursuing a medical career and uh, thought I would uh, go into anesthesia. So I have a nursing degree and uh, was going to become a nurse anesthetist, but I changed my mind along the process. and and uh, stayed in the business community. But I'm happy to uh, represent our district. I uh, was involved in our local governance, uh, was the mayor of Greenfield, and also served on its uh, planning commission for about seven years before I was mayor. Can you tell us a little bit more about your district and what your constituents care about? Well, uh, 33A is western Hennepin County. It's about one-third of Hennepin County geographically. Uh, the district is comprised from St. Bonifacius, Wyzetta, Orono, Minnetrista, all around uh, the north and west shores of Lake Minnetonka, and then goes all the way out to the county line, uh, all the way up north to my home community of Greenfield and Corcoran. Uh, the district is a, a mix of uh, urban areas, and it is also a, a mix of rural areas. There's a lot of hobby farms, there's a lot of uh, horses and horse arenas, and uh, people love the out of doors, so it's it's really a, a, a mixture of lakes and land and hills and woods, and it's just a, it's a wonderful place to live. What are your legislative priorities? Well, for this session, my legislative priorities, you may have uh, read and heard about uh, news coverage on the news. Highway 12 corridor it runs right through the center of our district. The Highway 12 corridor is the last segment of road uh, in our metro area that's still a rural highway. And that rural highway is, has got metro volumes of traffic on it, and it's become the deadliest road in uh, Minnesota. And uh, I've got some uh, bills drafted uh, for this session to deal with some of the public safety issues that uh, need improvements on there. Uh, ultimately, the road needs to be a freeway status all the way out to Highway 25, which is uh, near Buffalo in Wright County, uh, because that's really the edge of town these days going out into central Wright County in terms of uh, how our infrastructure is built around the metro area and, and the same distances that people drive to downtown would include central Wright County just like it does uh, northern Anoka County and, and some of the other counties where, where people are coming to the metro area. But this is a, a rural standard highway, has a rural section, a rural design, and uh, it just really has become a very unsafe road with the metro volumes. What would you say is the number one challenge facing our state? Well, I think the number one challenge facing our state really is our uh, growing uh, tendency of not being competitive in terms of growing jobs and our uh, business competitiveness. Uh, that's evident by the most recent data and the most recent information that's uh, out there in terms of the stagnant wage growth and also the uh, stagnation of uh, new jobs in Minnesota, we're really lagging behind nationally uh, in terms of that area. And that's very unusual if you've lived and in, in, uh, grown up in Minnesota. We've had a very diverse economy, a very vibrant one, and it's one that uh, you've always been able to uh, find your place if, if you've been willing to, to get up in the morning and work hard. But it's uh, increasingly more difficult for especially young people graduating from college to even find placement and find jobs. And I believe that part of that is our, our lack of tax competitiveness. Today, people can vote with their feet. Um, when they graduate from college, they have a very important decision to make. Do, if they're a high-tech uh, graduate and, and really are able to leapfrog right into a high-paying job and a very uh, skilled and technical job, they have a decision to make. Do I want to do that in Minnesota and be subjected to the rate of taxation, or do I want to consider a different state uh, that is more tax friendly. And especially for a young person, if you're planning your future and if you uh, find that you can have the same job and pay, uh, you know, four to five thousand, six thousand dollars a year less income tax because uh, you're not living in Minnesota over a lifetime, that, that's a substantial amount of money that is building your wealth for retirement.
Do you have a collection of some kind or a hobby you'd like to share with us? Well, I do uh, have a hobby and it's, it's outdoors. I'm a, a passionate uh, hunter and fisherman. Um, I am a president of a, uh, of a small private uh, hunting club that uh, is located out in western Minnesota in uh, primarily waterfowl hunting. Uh, that's a great thing, but also uh, used to do uh, tournament hunting with uh, gun dogs and, and upland game and uh, certainly is a, a great deal of fun. But I enjoy other things as well, just like anyone else, I enjoy golfing and in uh, hiking and biking and camping, we, we do those things as well. Representative Hurtas, thank you for your time. Thank you.